I'd like to talk a little bit about how to hook up to a ski, which ski to choose when you're doing the pulling job. Here we've got a TNA strap that's sewn on the end of our slick tape. This is the slick tape retrieval line. It's about 20 feet long altogether. If I'm going to pull on a stuck sled, I'm going to set my sled, sled that I'm pulling with out front, hook the Cobra up here to the back of it, take my retrieval line out, flip it back to the guy on the stuck sled. He's going to choose the ski to pull on. This is kind of important. If he happens to be off a trail, sled's leaning to the right, and you're wanting to bring him back up on the trail like that, here's something to consider. If you hook this bottom ski, when you pull on that, it'll tend to hold that ski down in the snow. And your soft snow is going to be down on that upper hill. And what will happen is that downhill ski will be held down by the strap as you're pulling with your stuck sled. Your uphill ski will float high, and you'll turn the sled upside down as it comes up on top of the trail or out of this hole. So in this case, what you want to do, sled's off, to, off a slope to the right. We're going to pick the uphill ski to hook onto. The reason I'm picking the uphill ski, I'm on my sleds on the camber, the stuck sleds on the camber like this, leaning down on the right side. If I hook the downhill ski, what I want to do is, first of all, we want to go in front of the spindle here. If I was to hook the ski right here on the back, uh, and that's what we do with our TNA strap, is uh, hook hook the back of the ski, pull it up against the back of the spindle so it's pulling right here. Then when the guy comes out, he can stay on the throttle, strap will slip off the back of the ski and you turn him loose. If you hook into a ski lip or, or lift, lift, ski tip or an A-arm, everything starts folding up in, in, in front of him as he comes out and he has a tendency to come off the throttle. But we're going to come up on this bank to the right or to the left. I'm going to hook to the uphill ski, but I'm going to come inside of the spindle and then I'm going to hook the back of the ski. So we're putting our pulling force here on the spindle again, but what's going to happen is I'm going to be uphill pulling like this, and so when I pull on this, it's going to drift the tip of the ski over here where I want it to. If I was to hook the back of the ski here, it would turn the ski back downhill again. So I want to be hooked up here, and it's going to turn my ski tips up. It's going to hold this uphill ski down in the snow again, and it's going to let the downhill ski float out, float out of that hole, and it'll, it'll stay flatter as it comes out. Otherwise, like I said, if we hook that, that downhill ski, it's going to come up and roll the sled over to the right. Hooked up this way again. He comes up out of the hole. He'll want to pay attention to what he's doing and uh, let this cross over the top, drive over the top of it, and he'll be able to drive off the back of the ski and turn, turn the ski loose. 